Auckland-based The Fine Wines Delivery Company has been promoting the popular Australian brand Penfolds for over 10 years. But due to the price hike, they say they're taking action. I mean, we can understand some growth in pricing over a number of years, but to just suddenly drop 50% on them because you know, the Asian demand is surging, uh, is, is just outrageous. And we said to them that, look, our customers, and we think New Zealanders who've bought penfolds in general over the years, are not going to accept this. Owned by ASX-listed Treasury Wine Estates, Penfolds defends the price hike, saying it's due to a too large a surge in demand. But Mr Poole says it's merely just an excuse and an excuse that wine retailers won't take lying down. It looks a little bit of spin for me, to be quite frank, but they're looking for that upsurge in China, obviously. But, you know, China's a new market, and, um, and, and it doesn't have a, a proven record, uh, and, uh, you know, they're in a stage where they're young wine drinkers or, or novice wine drinkers, and something else could be the next best thing next year, and what are they going to do with all this penfolds that, that's left over? For the first time in 15 years, fine wines will not be including penfolds in their March brochure. And Mr Paul says that New Zealanders aren't likely to forget the price hike any time soon. I know through my retailing experience over many years that New Zealanders, they don't forget easily. So if there's a change in policy from penfolds next year, they're not automatically going to come back and be the favourites in the market. So I think they've done long-term damage in the New Zealand market. Emma Jones, Country 99 TV News.